There's a deep sense of unity you immediately notice when you talk to any member of the Unitarian Church of Quincy. We are welcoming and we're rooted in this community. Every week, members of the church gather for service to find peace, hope, and spiritual guidance. It's neat knowing that such a, a wonderful, welcoming religious home is, is here in Quincy. But this Sunday, the congregation sang and prayed to celebrate two historic milestones for the church. The long life of its congregation. It's really neat to know that this congregation has been around for 175 years. And the rededication of its 100-year-old building by the church's 37th minister, Scott Ossing. The church actually is very similar to the way it was 100 years ago. It was built as, as the beautiful building it is now. Ossing says after 100 years, the congregation's beliefs are stronger than ever. We really are about um, engaging with each other in a respectful way. And differences of opinion are not, are not a barrier to treating each other with respect. As part of a long-standing tradition, two of the church's oldest members participated in the chalice lighting ceremony. It's a tradition Ted Morrison and Nancy Winters have seen for decades, but finally got to partake in. Just being here and, and celebrating the idea that we've been here so long, this is uh, really part of my heritage. Morrison and Winters spent every Sunday inside the church as kids and developed a deep bond through their faith. Over the years, these friends have seen many members come and go. A lot of my friends are, are dead now. Mm. Um, so a lot of the faces are gone, but the, the new ones that come in are, are just, as, uh, uh, just as interesting and, and uh, warm. Although many years have passed and their lives have changed, both Winners and Morrison say they will continue to come to the church for the rest of their lives. This church building is, is such a jewel that we, uh, that we seem to appreciate. Derek Frank, KHQA News, Quincy.